What's up, everybody? My name is Button Mash Bob, and I'm here trying out for the first time Hyperlight Drifter. I am so excited. Now, I have been waiting to play this game for a long time, actually. And I know I'm kind of late to the game. We come out on PC and Mac and all, like, ahead of time. And it just got into console a few weeks ago, I think, like, a month ago. I bought it, like, probably two weeks ago. I'm just now getting to it because I've been busy with a lot of stuff. I'm like the world's busiest man. I do a lot of things. If you ever want to keep track of what I'm doing between uh, music and filmmaking, I do a lot of that stuff. Just follow me on my Twitter and Instagram, which is the links down below and in the description. But we are going to get started with this game. I'm so excited to play games like this. So, so excited. I love playing games like this. I love the whole 8-bit uh, pixel art style kind of games. And I like how it's it's becoming a resurgence kind of it's it's coming back, especially in the indie world. A lot of indie developers are making games like this. And you gotta give it up to indie developers, man. They put a lot of time and effort in these kind of games and, and it's such a great art style and direction. And I've waited such a long time to play this game. And I'm super, super excited to finally fucking touch it, you know what I'm saying? Uh and I gotta keep making more of these kind of games. I wanna see more and more Ape style games. They're just so fun. Uh, the last good one I remember playing was uh, uh, Super Time Force, I think it was, uh, a couple of years ago. That game was awesome. Uh, I'm really excited for this one. Uh, there's, I know there's a bunch of other ones out there that exist, like Dear, Dear God, I think. That game's a bit weird, but it's really cool. I want to get the soundtrack for this. I heard the soundtrack is awesome. Woo! It's bright. It's so bright. It's blinding. It's blinding! It's like the end of the world, what happened? Oh my god, this is horrible. So I did some digging up, and it's not like digging up, you know, it's, it's out there. It's sick. That the uh, creator of this game, initial creator of this game, has uh, like heart problems. And. Oh. And the character that you play in this game has similar kind of like problems, I guess, uh, with his, you know, internal organs. And it's kind of cool how, how, it's not cool, but it's interesting how the creator of this game, holy shit, it's like on some Attack on Titan type shit, that's insane. It's cool how they, they the developer of this game, the creator, he, he made it like somewhat personal in a way. And that's really cool how game developers put like a little bit of their own life tidbits like here and there in these games. And it's a lot more personal to them. It means a lot more to them. Uh, and watching behind the scenes videos and little documentary on how this game was made, you know, super like, you know, basement kind of, you know, developing studio. And they put a lot of work and effort. Such a small team of, of very, very talented guys. And the gameplay I've seen from this game, I haven't seen too much because I don't want to spoil too much of it for me. But it looks outstanding. And I'm just so excited to get into this. I know there's a lot of indie indie games coming out in time that have been announced, you know, years ago. Like, Hyperlight Drifter was announced, I believe, like, two years ago or something. Same thing with, like, No Man's Sky. These games have been in development for a long time, and they're just now coming out. I remember when this console generation uh, first started, like, in 2014, I think, was when Super Time Force came out, or, 20, or late 2013. That was announced, like, a year prior or so. And you'd think like it would take less time, but it takes a while for these game these developers to do what they need to do, get it out there, and and getting a team together and such. Like I'm still waiting for Cuphead, like we're waiting for like three years or since 2013, you know, since this generation started to play Cuphead. Oh, we're getting started. Oh, look at this. This is oh I just <laughs> I died already. <laughs> oh man, um, use LB LB to heal. That's cool. Wow, okay. Wow. This game looks really nice. Oh no, he's dying. So where do we go? Just kind of chilling out here. Oh no, <laughs> I don't know what I gotta do. Do I go down? Oh, okay, okay. There's no like indication, it's, it's, it's weird. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm... 
You'll get it. We're all learning here. Nice. Okay. Hold Y to take items. Took some items. Hold Y to interact. Awesome. Seems like a very interesting world this game takes place in. I'm really excited how this whole story unfolds. A lot of shit going out here. Hey, you. What are you? Ooh, fuck you. Hell yeah, man. Oh, I can break boxes. Gotta remember to break boxes. And get some shit out of that. What do I do here? Oh, I hit it. Oh, okay, okay. Press Y to ping the HUD. So I hear this game is very, like, hardcore. Like, it gets harder and harder as you progress. I love challenges. I love things like that. So let's see how well I do. Depending on how far I go. LT to aim. Oh, okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice. That's cool. All right. Oh. Yeah, you would have thought, motherfucker. Huh? What was that? A big giant robot over here. Whoa. So I guess I drop down here, right? Go over this bridge. This is a really good looking game. Very retro wavy. I love the color scheme. Like when I, when I first saw this game, like a couple of years ago coming out, I'm, I, I love things like this, like the whole like neon kind of colors, synth, like retro wave kind of 80s vibe it has. And, and like it just has so much, it just appeals to me and, and my style of, of, of you know, not just games, just like media in general, like art, you know? Like this game speaks to me. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Wow. That's a nice sight to see. This is cool. I guess I got, it looks like a city, right? Do I have to go there? Birds flying around. Oh, oh, sick. Oh no, I like how it glitches out when that happens. What's all this black stuff? Oh no. What's happening? What are you? Oh my god. Ah. What's going on? Black. Okay. Who are you? It's kind of creepy. It's like a creepy old guy. Did you save me or something? Oh, I'm assuming he did. A lot of sleeping just now. 
The animations are really, really good. View map. Whoa. Look at all this. How big is this map? Wow. Is, is this like the whole world of the game? Character. I guess like upgrades. Can you upgrade your character and stuff? That's cool, man. I like that. This is where I am now. Wow. This is cool. Here, open the door, we get out. Oh, what a nice place! What's that? Warp here anytime using the map. Oh, would you look at that? So, it seems some kind of like an open world kind of like a kind of like game. I like that. That's really cool. Something vibrates here. Is that the old guy that saved me? Who are you? It's like a guard, a city guard, like security, police or something. It's not really telling me where to go. I guess I gotta figure it out myself, right? Kind of reminds me of uh, of Zelda in a way, like old school Zelda games, which I like. And I'm a huge fan of Zelda. No. I go this way. Oh, that's bad. Oh, shit. Fucking spider dude. Fuck you, man. There's just death everywhere. Some bad shit happened here, man. Ain't gonna get me this time. I guess we're just gonna wander? What's down here? Ooh, what's this? I found something cool. Music is very, very chill. I'm going. I just hope I'm going somewhere that leads me to something that's what happened here. Ooh. I don't know what that means. It's all part of the mystery. Oh, do I have to find something like activate that or something like that? Interesting, interesting. Like, it doesn't give me a clear objective of what to do as co-op in this game. I forgot about that. Is it like online co-op or local co-op? I wonder. Hmm. This is the city. Or the town or whatever.
Because we're just going to keep moving on. Who are you? Okay. Is that where I have to go? Is that something that I have to do? I guess. I think I'm going the right way too, right? So, let's keep it moving. God, this is a really gorgeous game. Exploration involved. I love exploring stuff. Okay. So let's go down this way. Go up here. Oh. Oh, shit. Fuck you. I'm getting attacked. Oh, shit. This game is kind of brutal. Ah, uh, bam. Where's the other guy? Come here, motherfucker. You running away? You can't run away from me? It's like graves. Are those like tombstones? I don't know what I just got. I got something. Oh no! It's like a well or something. back this way. Let's see if there's anything over here I missed. Oh, under here. Look at that. There's something here. Yep. What is this? I don't know what that is. Can I continue to go down? Nope. Can't break these. Is there anything over here? It's all the way over here, though. It's like so many options. I have like so many options of places to go to. I don't know where they're all gonna take me. I kind of want to explore this way, though, since I already started going this way. Double whammy. What do I do? Do I need... I need something. Probably don't have enough to get in there yet, maybe? Let's double back. Which way was it? Uh, yeah, keep going down. I want to get up there, so I'm going to see what the fuck is going on up there. I 
Oh, the fuck are you? I no no leave me alone. Uh 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 not today. Ah oh, shit, you got me. Let's heal. Shit. It is pretty hard. This game is pretty hard. I'll admit. You gotta be really on your feet. It's not hard just yet, but there's a challenge and I can sense it right now. Uh-uh. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Alright, we made it here. Made it to the elevator. Let's see where it takes us. Ooh, where are we? Uh uh, oh no. Anything else in these things? Nothing else. Okay. Those just grow back? What is that? Oh, shit. I was crazy. I wasn't ready for that. Started getting shot the fuck up. What does this mean? What is that? I don't know what it means. Upgrade points or something? Is this a key to something? Ah, oh, so many questions. I love how I kind of like how games just don't come with a some kind of tutorial or manual or something. I'm just Figuring shit out on my own. It's kind of like how I started No Man's Sky. It's just bam. There you go. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Alright, tough guy. I got you, though. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, there's more. Get him. Every enemy has some kind of a pattern that you gotta figure out, and I like that. Because you can be attacked by like two or three different kinds of enemies, and you gotta figure all that shit out at once. Oh shit. This guy's gonna kill me. the hell? Got him. Shit. More of these fucking wolf dog thingies. It's a very interesting game world. I need to get in there something there. Oh, fuck me. I didn't see that. I got dead. Oh, man. That's rough. I'm not even sure where I respawned. Do I know this area? Yeah, okay. 
Uh, I gotta fight these motherfuckers again. Got him. Shit. Shit. Did I get the other guy? Fuck, he got me too. Oh, this game's hard. Okay, I'm getting way too excited. Hell no. Fuck you. have no more healing. So you do run out of those. Okay. Gotta be very careful. Oh, shit. Shit, there's two of them. Got him. Alright, alright. Very careful how you go about fighting these fucking creatures, man. Boom. Ooh, yes, and I get that one over here. Nice. Progress, I like that. Where am I? Oh, okay. I'm getting lost here. So I don't think there's any more for me down here at the moment. Let's check the map, right? Let's see where I'm at right now. I have to get all over here. It's going to be a mission. So what I'm going to do is... I am going to... Uh, chill out for now. This is a great introduction to this game, and I really can't wait to get way more into this game. This game seems very, very crazy. I'm very confused as to what's going on or any kind of story. Um, still figuring out these mechanics. This, this game does have a great challenge to it, and I like that. And I just want to know what's going on. I don't know what all these things we're collecting. I don't know. There's no dialogue yet. No nothing. I don't know if there is dialogue, like reading text or something, but it's great. It's interesting. It's like a big mystery, and I like, I like, I'm very attracted to games like this, and I'm super excited to play more and find out uh, what's next and what's to come in the future of this game. So I'm gonna chill out for here for now and uh, save it, and I'll be back on another video for this game. Uh, thank you guys for hanging out in here and watching this video; it means a lot to me. Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, uh, description is down, uh, the links or the at name, whatever my usernames are. In the description down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like, give it a thumbs down. Uh, comment in the section below. Let me know how you feel. Uh, talk to me. Hang out. I always talk back. Uh, subscribe. Share to all your friends. And um, as always, thanks for watching this video again. And uh, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.